IV cannulas come in different sizes which are made of different colors so that you can easily recognize their size by just looking at their colors. Each size allows different flow rate through it. In adults, 20G and 18G are commonly used sizes. Here is an IV cannula of size 18G which is of green color. Open it like this. These are its wings which you can make straight. It has a catheter which is flexible and blunt. Inside the catheter is a needle which is sharp and non-flexible. The needle is present inside the catheter in such a way that the pointed end of the needle is protruding from the end of the catheter so that it can penetrate the vein. This is the flashback chamber. When the needle penetrates a vein, blood flows through the needle and appears in this flashback chamber. This is the injection port from where you can give intravenous injections. Blood cannot flow out of it because it has a valve which prevents the backflow. This is its plug. It is used to close the cannula after it is placed inside the vein. If this plug is left open, blood can come out of it because there is no valve here to prevent the backflow. Make sure you have all the items available that will be required for IV cannulation. Wear the gloves to avoid getting in direct contact with the patient's blood. Apply a tourniquet above the area where you want to put the IV cannula. Ask the patient to open and close the fist a few times. Tap the desired vein a few times. This tapping will dilate the vein and make it prominent. Apply alcohol swab on the area in a circular motion moving from inside towards outside. Let the area dry. Meanwhile, open the IV cannula from its package. Make it swing straight. Hold it like this. Remove the protective cover of the IV cannula. Stabilize the desired vein by gently stretching the skin. This stabilization is necessary. However, do not overstretch the skin, otherwise lumen of the vein will collapse. Insert the cannula at a low angle of about 15 degrees. When the cannula is in the lumen of the vein, move it forward a few centimeters in the direction of the vein while applying upward pressure. This upward pressure is to ensure that the needle does not puncture the other side of the vein, which is called a double prick. A double prick causes hematoma or swelling at the side of the cannulation, in which case you should immediately stop IV cannulation at that side. You will be able to see the the blood in flashback chamber. Open the tourniquet. Now pull out the inside needle by a few centimeters and move the cannula forward so that it goes all the way into the vein. Once cannula is inside the vein, apply pressure on the tip of the inserted cannula and completely pull out the needle. Close the cannula by using the plug. Pressure applied on the tip of the cannula will prevent any backflow of blood. You can confirm that the cannula is properly placed inside the vein by injecting 5 ml of normal saline into the cannula. As you can see, injection of normal saline has not caused any swelling around the cannula. It confirms that the cannula is properly placed inside the vein and there is no double prick. Apply a fixator tape so that the cannula is fixed in its place and does not come out accidentally. IV cannula can be left in a vein for up to 3 or 4 days. When the IV cannula is no longer required, its removal is simple. Remove the fixator tape. Put cotton with pressure at the point of insertion of the cannula and remove the cannula. Ask the patient to maintain pressure on the side for several minutes. Properly discard everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to stay tuned for upcoming videos.